Hey guys, it's Lulu. Welcome back to my channel. This is a collaboration video that I am doing with Kai. You can go ahead and check out her channel as well as her Twitter. Go ahead and make sure you follow and subscribe because she's awesome. So she went ahead and built this beautiful home. She did the outside landscaping. She did the structure. She pretty much chose the look of the house and I am coming in to decorate it. So I'm just going to get a feel for the style she was going for. I wanna look around, check out the backyard. There's a really cute porch right there, and then when you go around to the back, there's this really awesome decked out patio that looks really great for hosting, honestly. You got a bonfire, you got a bar, you got a pool, you got a hot tub. This is what it looks like in the daylight. And then we're going to go in and check out her floor plans. So it's very open space, um, very open floor concept. There is a bedroom and a bathroom and a half bath. And then this open area for a living room and kitchen. And then when you go upstairs, it looks like a master bedroom with a little closet hallway and a big master bath and a nice large sized patio. Okay, so first thing first. I don't have my microphone with me today, so if this audio is staticky or horrible, please forgive me. Um, so first thing that I wanted to do was kind of set a feel for the house, and this house gives off a loft vibe to me, and when I think of lofts, I think of brick walls. So I went ahead and added a brick wall, and when I add a brick wall upstairs, I automatically go downstairs to continue the brick wall because that just seems more practical for me when I go into a house and you see exposed brick typically there is exposed brick above on the same wall or they have covered over it with drywall so I get really into that and with the bedroom upstairs I did the white brick because I just assumed that whoever was in that bedroom painted over it very James Charles if you watch that sorry my channel is merged so I might drop a little bit of um beauty in with this Sorry about that, guys. My phone was ringing. Anyways, so the upstairs bedroom is very, very light. Um, I have a theme in mind for that room already, as well as the downstairs bedroom. So I was doing the bathroom, and I was like, well, let me go ahead and just complete all of the tile work in the house. So I went to the half bath next, and I decided to use some of the Get Famous stuff because I haven't had a chance to play with that yet. This is my first build using Get Famous, so I'm very, very excited. So when I first saw this house, I immediately thought of roommates for a couple of reasons. Number one being that there was a really nice patio for hosting and hosting like pretty intense parties if you think about it. Um, there wasn't anything in the backyard that resembled children. So I was thinking that maybe Kai was also going for a roommate vibe. And then also not having been able to use any of my Get Famous pack stuff yet, I thought how cool would it be to make sure that um, you know, one sim was going after one celebrity career, um, career plan while another sim was like aspiring to be another type of celebrity. So those um, thoughts are definitely portrayed in these bedrooms. And then I really wanted to make the house like a cool hangout because if they do become famous or rising stars or be list celebrities, maybe bec they become best friends. Maybe they hate each other. Who knows? Um, by this point, I did already choose my Sims to go into this house, so you will see them. Maybe I'll add something in the beginning, and this is just kind of being pointless, or maybe I'll add something at the end. I'm not quite sure yet. But yes, I do already have two Sims living in this house, both females. One of them is an aspiring DJ, and the other one, or like music producer, and the other one is, of course, a YouTuber because I am so obsessed with that career plan. So I actually got Get Famous um, this month in January, and I feel like everyone else got it in November because it was very, very hyped up on Twitter, and that was my first experience of a pack launch on Twitter. So um, if you have been playing Get Famous for a while, tell me what some of your experiences have been. 
Because right now I feel very limited and maybe it's just my lack of imagination or my lack of creat creativity, but I just feel like there aren't really that many options as I thought there was. So if you guys have Get Famous, tell me some of the things you've been making your Sims do. Tell me some of the career paths. Tell me some of the fun stories. I really, really want to know because I think I definitely need some game inspiration to continue playing and then maybe it'll get a little bit more interesting. However, as far as gameplay for this goes, I do really enjoy the options to do like the YouTubing. I think it's very, very creative the way that they have the little drone that follows you around. Um, I have not tried the actress career yet, and that sounds pretty exciting. Very interactive, I feel like, because it's almost like a get to work job where you follow them to. But I am so upset that I cannot visit Plum Bob Studios without being an actress. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels that way. However, I just really wish I could go to Plum Bob Studios because I think it would add a little bit more to my storyline. Um, I really definitely had some uh, quote unquote builder's block, sort of like writer's block, where I just haven't felt the inspiration to build in such a long time. And it's sad because I love this game and I love doing speed builds, but I feel like I've just either A, done everything that I've ever thought about doing and now I'm just repeating it, or B, I feel like I just want to play the game. And then when I start to play the game, I look for those storylines because I love Generation Families and I have a few that I'm like on Generation 3 and I'm just running out of story ideas. However, I do have Get Famous now, so maybe that'll make things a little different. I have to give it a try. But doing this collaboration with Kai has really sparked my interest in building again and getting back into doing these videos. So hopefully I'll have some really exciting stuff coming for you guys soon enough. I definitely want to make 2019 a mix between my Sims and my beauty. I did a lot of Sims videos in July last year leading into September and then starting in October and going all the way through the end of the year was pretty much all makeup. So I definitely want to mix it and balance it where I'm doing at least one or the other every weekend or maybe I get to a point where I pre-film enough that I can do two videos in a weekend. Ayo, maybe that's setting the bar just a little too high. Maybe I should like pump the brakes a little bit. Um, but what do you guys do to get inspiration when you feel like you've just hit a roadblock when playing the game? Please let me know because I'm certainly hitting that. Um, I would probably have to do a let's play to get back into the story mode. Maybe that's the thing about let's plays because I always feel like if I do a let's play, are people going to be like, you're nuts, you're creating the story in your head, there's no way this is an actual story. But it's sort of like when you play dolls as a little girl and you created fun little storylines. Maybe that was just me. I don't know, you gotta let me know, guys. Um, but I do have some crazy drama going on with these roommates, and maybe that'll be a fun little let's play. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which... Teodora, otherwise known as Queen T on YouTube, did a Sims 2 Let's Play, and I'm obsessed with it because I actually never played the storyline of Cassandra Goth marrying Don Lothario, and you have to see what happens at the altar. Like, it's nuts. And she brings back Bella Goth, and that's really cool because it's like everyone, everyone's dream when they played Sims 2 was like Bella Goth would come back, and then you'd see her in Strange Town, and your mind would be like so blown because she had no memories, no personality. I don't know. It's nuts. So go check her channel out too. Make sure you just subscribe and follow her Twitter. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, definitely go check out Kai's Twitter. Follow her and her YouTube channel. Subscribe. Her stuff is awesome. She did such a good job on this house. And I think I don't really have anything else to talk about. So I'm just going to cut it here and play some music. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Oh, yeah.